Hi everyone, my name is Roy. I'm going to explain how to use iLook MS Project Server. iLook is a sidebar for Outlook 2003, 2007, and 2010. iLook MS Project Server consists of uh, three panels. There's the top panel, the selected project details with common functions panel, and there's uh, the middle panel, which is the uh, projects, all the projects that you have permission to see and there's uh, the bottom panel. The bottom panel has all the selected project tasks. Let's minimize those buttons. The top panel. The top panel has the selected project details. If I select a different project, for example, external technical, as you can see, the data had changed. And uh, five, five common functions. There's uh, the view details, project details button. Pressing on this button, you'll be able to see the project details, project tasks, project team members, uh, project resource, and risk and issues from the PWA. Project team member. Pressing on this button, you'll be able to see uh, the team members for this selected project. You'll be able to add by simply uh, selecting a team member from uh, the enterprise team members and edit and then you can also remove it add new task button this lets you add new task for uh, the selected project you can also uh, add resources per task and predecessor to a task project reports this is the selected project reports there's two standard reports task status and task resource use task status um, uh, let you view all the tasks that are not started for this project. There's 31 tasks that are not started. The task that was completed and uh, the task, there's 12 tasks in progress. Task resources. Uh, the amount of tasks per a resource. So you can see. Refresh. The refresh button refreshes the list of projects that you will have permission to see. The submenu. Submenu uh, lets you um, add new project, add new resources, and add new projects from a template. Collaboration. The collaboration uh, connects you to the web. Uh, for example, let's press on risk, and as you can see, uh, directly from your Outlook, you can see the issues and risks. You can also uh, get the selected project details from the PWA, the task updates, uh, tasks, issues, risk, and etc. Update approval, those are my personal approvals, the things that uh, I need to approve. We'll deal with this later on. And well, this is the top panel. The middle panel consists of all the projects that I have permission to see. Those are the projects. Every project item has a title, for example, security infrastructure, which is the name of the project. And there's a bar. The bar has three colors. There's the green color, which represents the, uh, the completed work. There's the white color, which represents the remaining work. And there's the uh, red color, which represents the remaining work beyond the deadline. There's also a background representation for a project. Uh, the green background for a project means that uh, you are the one that had checked out this specific project. And the red background means that someone else checked this project out on his name so if you right click a, a red project you'll be able to see uh, the person that had checked out this project and you can also connect to this person by email or view his personal details or uh, connect to him by skype or make an appointment if you right click on a green uh, background you won't be able to see the card because you're the one that checked out this project and but you'll be able to see to see and uh, execute a publish 
for this project you'll be able to check it in or check it out or just uh, see the project details you can dial a project and you can rename a project if you have about a thousand projects and you want to uh, search for one project by name all you have to do is just press on the magnify glass and there you go you can search for for a project by name and this is for the middle panel the bottom panel. The bottom panel has all the selected project tasks. I'll press on a different project. For example, I'll press on evaluating offshoring. As you can see, the task had changed. Press on the external technical. Task had changed. Let's select the security infrastructure and let's just look at the tasks. Okay, there's uh, the folder icon, which is uh, the summary icon. Those are the tasks that you cannot change with iLook. There's the item icon. The item icon uh, represents a task that you can change, which is not a summary task. You can change a task by double clicking on it or by right clicking and pressing update. the red flag the red flag means that this task is going to be uh, finished later than expected the green task mean the green flag icon mean that this task is going to be finished earlier than expected the task backgrounds as you can see this is a green background green background means that this task task had completed it's on 100% completion as you can see this is the 100% completion the yellow background the yellow background means that this task is in progress it's greater than 0 and lower than 100% so you can see this is 40% editing a task you can simply double clicking on a task or right clicking and updating a task you can add a resource or a task. For example, let's add IT sponsor with the amount of four hours to work. And as you can see, IT sponsor was added to this specific task. You can add a predecessor and you can change the task details. You can also insert a new task if you select the task and insert the task it uh, it will I look will insert the task between those two tasks between the uh, the uh, green flag and the red flag task those are the task functions if you want to search for a task between all those tasks simply press on the magnifying glass again and you'll be able to uh, select task by resource for example Roy task and as you can see I have two tasks that is going to be uh, finished earlier than expected and in general I have three tasks I can also search for a task within a resource with um, a name the name of the task for example ID EN and press enter and he found, I look and found uh, the task that I meant to, found, to find. Okay, well, this is it. This is the MS Project Server iLook. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy and have fun.